Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com and this is part 2 of our Selenium Automation with C Sharp. And in this part, we're going to reference Selenium to our Visual Studio. So, there are two popular ways to do referencing of Selenium in your project. So, either you go to the seleniumhq.org and download the DLL for Selenium and reference the DLL to your project. That's the very easy way that you can do. Or the dead easy way is reference Selenium via the NuGet package manager which is available along with Visual Studio. So we can do either of the way, but I personally prefer the second one which is referencing the Selenium via NuGet package manager. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio and let me show you how things work. So this is my Visual Studio IDE and I'm using Visual Studio Ultimate Edition. So if you have Visual Studio Express Edition or you have Visual Studio Community Edition, you can still use that because Selenium works in either of these version or you can also use Visual Studio Ultimate Edition as I'm using right now. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a project. So for that, let me go to File, New, Project. So this will open me up the list of projects which is available in my Visual Studio and I'm going to select the console application right and let me call it as selenium first right and I'm going to hit OK here so this will create me a project great so now we have a project created so the next thing we need to do is to reference the selenium so the greatest and easiest way as I told is to just reference via the NuGet package manager and I'm not going to download the selenium bindings reference from the seleniumhq.org as you can do from here. If you just download this, this will give you a zip file for the selenium and you can work from there but I'm not going to do that. Rather, just right click the reference and there is something called manage NuGet package. So I'm going to select that. So this will show you all the NuGet packages which is available online as of now. But we are interested in Selenium. So let me type Selenium. And as you can see, it brings you the Selenium web driver as the first option. And you can see the version is 2.45, which is the latest version right now. See, it's 2.45. And the same is available even in my Visual Studio. The version is 2.45. And the release date is also pretty much the same when it is released in the website. Great. So it is the very, very latest version which you can download from NuGet Package Manager. And now I'm going to select Install. So this will download and install into your project. So if you have already downloaded this in your Visual Studio, then if you're going to create a new project, it won't download once again. Rather, it will take the package which is available in the NuGet package manager catch and from there it will install into your project. That's it. So all it's doing is just referencing the Selenium web driver into your project. That's it. Well, right now it has downloaded and it's installing the reference into my project and you can see that the reference has added into my project. We can see here it's web driver. And the next thing I need to do is, let's say I want to open the Chrome browser to perform the operation. So for doing that, what I can do is, I can again right click the reference, manage NuGet package manager. And now here you can type for Chrome driver. So now you can just hit the install button here. And since I have already downloaded the Chrome driver into my Visual Studio already, it has added the reference to my project. See, it didn't download it, rather it just added the reference to my project. Hit close and you can see that it has added the Chrome driver.exe into my project as a reference and also it has added some license text. Great. And now if you go to the packages.config, you can see that it has added the two references like web driver and chrome driver to a project so this packages.config is for the NuGet package manager right just hit the close there and also the license and as you can see here we can write a simple program 
with our selenium since we have added the references to our project right so that's it guys so this is the simple and easy way to reference your selenium web driver and chrome driver into your project so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day